who to invite, who should be present. Now, when facilitating a session, when crafting a session, it's important to think who's going to be part of it. You are making an invite list. Yes, stakeholders, people that have a stake in the conversation should be part of it. It's very tempting to think about the positions and titles and hierarchies and operational charts. Also crafted in a way so that it's more a behavioral experience, not just a ranking role experience. Because ideas come from anywhere. We all inventors. We invent things for a living. We shouldn't forget the creative part of our work. So go wide and reach the who's going to be there. So five categories, as we like to put things in groups, for people that you want to have present. It's good to enrich, to bring diversity in the session that you're about to craft, session that you are going to facilitate. Think also that Although there are five categories, people probably are going to sit in more than one because we have multiple attributes that makes us unique. Group one is people about that knows the concept at hand. So again, if you are thinking of improving the customer experience, think about from sales to who does market research, customer service reps, who knows about the users. Now think also second category. Out of all these people that knows your users or out of all these people that have a stake, how can you enrich diversity? And that's multicultural groups of people, different backgrounds, disciplines, ages, um, technical ability, length in the company. Good to have fresh pair of eyes too. So those are going to help you to eliminate blind spots. Group three, which is about generation of ideas. Right. So who is particularly good at generating new ideas? That's going to have good time on brainstorming. That's going to infuse new lens, new outlooks. Group four is good partners in terms of who is not directly involved, but have a good eye from the outside. Especially if you're doing a session on customer experience, you may have a pilot group of users, potential partners or current people from the supply chain. Bring on this partnership. Let's enrich each other's ideas from different perspectives. And the last, bring people that is optimist and realist. So that is possible. Have both. Having people that's going to help you to see the options, uh, yet to see what is feasible, a great asset. Rather than a quick no, no, no hat. Now, who is in this very last bucket? Also change. We change over time. Sometimes we are in a space of resistance, more resistance than another. That's also something that will vary over time. So bringing that diversity into who's part of your session is really going to help you to create something better than a status quo, where we can lean into each other, enrich each other's ideas. How can we break free of operating by default of going through the motions without emotions, right? Right. So who to invite to your session? Think about five, five different groups. Who knows about the subject? Who has a stake on it? How can you diversify? How to bring different attributes and infuse diversity from many angles? Who is generative? Who's going to help you with those new ideas? And who knows from other lenses, from other external areas? It's going to help you to see another point of view. And who is optimist? Yes, it can be better. But realist, is it feasible? And again, we part of more than one, if not all of them in a sense. So I enrich your sessions also by defining who's going to be part of it, who can help you. That's it for today. And that's a pro tip. Right? Subscribe and pop some notes in the comments down below.